Car Town was a Facebook game that lasted from 2010 to 2014. This is gonna be a super short overview of what Car Town was and what made it so special, but I've also made a much longer and detailed video about the whole story of Car Town, which you should totally check out, not to mention that there is an awesome project that's bringing Car Town back to life, so watch until the end for more info. At its core, what made Car Town so special was the simplicity of the game. You had your garage, you collected cars, raised them and worked together with your friends to level up and get even better rewards. The garage was the heart of the game. It was your home and it was entirely customizable with different walls, styles and customization items and if you decided to be creative, the only limit was the floor size. You could also visit your friends so you earned bragging rights by having a kick-ass garage. In the garage you also had workers who would perform jobs for you which were the main way you would earn money in car town. Some jobs took longer but they would award you more more money and XP, and as you leveled up, the size of your garage grew and so did the number of jobs you could do at the same time. Of course, there would be no garage without any cars and Car Town had probably the biggest variety of cars in any game at the time. Of course, you would start with the D-class cars like the Pinto, the Toyota Yaris and the Beetle, but over time you would collect everything from Evos and snowmobiles to the McLaren F1s and the Ferrari Formula 1 race cars. Most of the cars were very customizable, I mean of course you could upgrade the cars to make them quicker and you could change out the wheels and tires but by far the coolest thing that you could do was literally make a wrap for your own car and you could do that with a large majority of the cars in the game. You collected cars through numerous features, which we'll get to in a moment, but of course you could also buy cars through the showroom either with gold coins or the game's premium currency, blue points. Or, you know, by opening up mystery boxes, which were actually very cheap back in the day, you know, before the microtransaction apocalypse. But the most valuable asset that any player had were their Facebook friends. You could send each other things like fuel, decoration items and even car parts which proved to be a very good idea because in its heyday Car Town had millions of players who would log onto the game every single month. Car Town also had racing which was as bare bones as you could get but it was still a very nice way to include everyone, even people who had bad internet connection and potato. PCs. As the popularity of Car Town grew, so did the content within the game. The game partnered with names like NASCAR and IndyCar and we got plenty of minigames and not to mention, you could always use your DeLorean as a time machine to collect XP and money if you forgot to collect your jobs. I think my favorite part of Car Town would have to be the junkyard. There you could restore numerous classic and eventually also race cars and you needed absolutely nothing except the help of your friends and the car selection that you could get was actually very impressive. There were so many fantastic features that Car Town had that I can't even begin to describe them in this video. The game show where you could win so many amazing cars, the place where I won my first ever Pagani on the R, you could go on adventures which all had very specific themes. This was just a Facebook game but it had so much depth to it. There were also numerous collaborations with names like Top Gear and The Fast and the Furious where you could literally get basically any famous car from the franchise for absolutely free which is completely unheard of in this day and age. There was also the Ferrari experience and you could restore the most famous Ferraris like the Daytona and the 250 GTO for absolutely free as well. If I had to describe Car Town in one word, I would have to say it was magical. After launching a mobile version called Car Town Streets in 2012, 2013 started to be the beginning of the end of Car Town as the Facebook platform it was on wasn't quite as popular as it used to be. On the 29th of August of 2014, Car Town was shut down. As it turns out, the reason was that the game popularity was decreasing rapidly and a lot of the expensive manufacturer licenses were expiring, meaning that it would unfortunately make more sense to shut the game down than to keep it going. In late 2015, Car Town Streets would meet the same fate. 
It's now been almost 10 years, but in 2023 we do in fact have a glimpse of hope as there is currently one really promising project that's recreating Car Town called Garage Tycoon. It has very similar visuals and game mechanics and while it's currently still being developed, the project has been gathering a lot of momentum and it looks great. You should subscribe to my channel for more updates on Garage Tycoon and join their Discord server. In any way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. My name is Jerry and I'll see you next time. Take care.